In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with area and perimeter of regular polygons. In example A, it says what is the perimeter of a regular octagon with 4 inch sides? So when you see octagon, you should remember that's a shape with 8 sides. Because it says it's regular, that means that all 8 sides are the same length. So, if each side is 4 inches, the perimeter, which is the distance all the way around, will just be 4 times 8, because there are 8 sides and each side has length 4 inches. So therefore, the perimeter will be 32 inches. In example B, it says the perimeter of a regular heptagon is 35 centimeters. What is the length of each side? So a heptagon has seven sides, and again, it says it's regular, so all seven sides are the same length. So if the perimeter is 35, that means each side length will be the perimeter divided by how many sides there are. So 35 divided by seven, which is five, centimeters. So each side would be 5 centimeters so that all seven sides added up would make 35 centimeters. In example C, it says find the length of the apothem in the regular octagon. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So the apothem is this red line right here and it's the height of this triangle if you notice. So because it says it's a regular octagon, first of all, that means there are eight sides, which we could count as well. The regular means that each side is the same length. So the base of this triangle is also 12. So what we're going to do is zoom in on just that triangle and try to think about how can we figure out the height of the triangle, which is the apothem. So what we know is that the full base is 12. So if I've sort of divided it up, that would be six and six. What we wanna figure out now is this angle up here. So that would be this angle in the polygon, the octagon. So remember that a full circle is 360 degrees. So this is one eighth of a circle because there are eight sides and each of the eight sides creates another central angle. So what you want to do is 360 divided by 8, and you get 45 degrees. So this angle up here is 45 degrees, which means each half is 22.5 degrees, because that's 45 divided by 2. So now if we just focus on the left side, this right triangle, we could use trigonometry to help us to solve for our missing side, the apothem. So we have an angle, and we also have the side opposite from the angle, and we're looking for the side that's adjacent to the angle. So that means we're going to want to use tangent to help us out to get our missing side, because tangent is the ratio that has to do with opposite and adjacent. So our equation will be, the tangent of 22.5 degrees must equal 6, the opposite side, over A, the adjacent side. Now the tangent of 22.5 degrees is approximately 0.414. So once I've substituted that in, I can cross multiply to start solving for A. I get 0.414A equals 6, and then I'll divide both sides by 0.414 in order to get A. And I get that A equals 14.49, rounded to the nearest hundredth. At this point, even though it didn't ask us, we could figure out the area of this octagon by finding the area of the triangle and multiplying it by 8, because the octagon is made up of 8 congruent isosceles triangles. The area of the triangle would be base of 12 times height, which is the apothem, 14.49, divided by 2. And then you'd take that answer and times it by 8. 